it's Lori from PIY and Cindy is behind the camera with my niece Cody and today we are actually going to paint up this lamp and out in Miss Georgia uh, I've had it out there for a while and I just I just don't like white so we're gonna paint that up and the other day we were in Campbell's at Cost Savers and we found this little piece of fabric uh, it was only 50 cents so we have a chair out there which we're going to do at a later date we're going to, and I think uh, we're going to use our PIY pink. Cindy, what color is this pink? Petticoat. Petticoat. It is petticoat pink we're going to do. I like to always put it in a container like that, just so that everyone can see how much paint we use. And then I'll just um, throw that to the side somewhere. So I am going to... Lori, did, I, did you tell them we can paint boots? Nope, but I will. These boots are made for painting, and that's just what they all do. One of these days, these boots are gonna paint all over you. Oh, fantastic, Lori, fantastic. Yeehaw! Didn't you love my boots? Yes, those were just plain white cowboy boots, but that is for a totally different day. So I'm just gonna get started on here, and you'll notice when I am moving this around a little bit, that it is a little bit wobbly. So I have asked Hubby to come and fix this for me, but. I don't know if uh, you guys are like me and you start off with, well, look at that. I fixed it myself. Oh, good for you, Lori. So anyways, as I was saying, um, hubby is always fixing things and putting things back together for me that I want to start on and then I never ever get to them. So the PIY product line, paint it yourself product line, the reason we love it, it, it is so simple. Anyone can do it. We use these little chip brushes. We don't, uh, you better put your glasses on. Oh my gosh, my glasses, I forgot my glasses. I don't want you painting Wait, streaks. You know, I do use the big brushes every once in a while, but I find that these little brushes are just perfect. They're cheap. Uh, sometimes I leave the paint in them for three or four days. I come back out, I put them in some hot water and the paint falls right out. So we're good. So I am just going to, you know, I find that a lot of times you think too much before you start a project. You look at a project and you go, okay, well, I have to do this and I have to do that. No, you don't. You know what? Start. With our paint, you'll notice that I'm painting around the hardware. That is because with the PIY paint, until it is sealed, it doesn't stick. So if I'm painting a dresser, kitchen cabinets, anything, I paint right over top and then I come back later and I wipe the hardware off with a Q-tip. Now look at how beautiful that is covering that ceramic. It dries really fast. So when we started with the line, uh, my sister Cindy and I, we painted furniture for a living and we realized that there really wasn't a lot of money in it because it took so long to paint it so many coats and then it had to dry and you had to you know so one of the reasons that we love the PIY brand is Cindy Cindy will, won't agree that she is but we're lazy we're lazy we like fast it dries fast which is exactly what we want so that we can get up in the morning start a piece of furniture and by at the end of the day we've got that furniture on the Cell block and it's out of there. Now, do you mean the cell block as in jail? <laughs> no jail. The cell block, block as in selling. As in the selling. That's going to look really pretty pink, isn't it? Gorgeous. And, you know, I mean, everybody is different, right? Some people look at a color and they go, oh, yuck. Why would you ever paint that pink? But I am a, well, you can sort of tell, I'm a big pink girl. Um, this would have looked beautiful in like a metallic or anything, right? And what I'll do when I finish is that I will wipe some of this down. And, oh, my little dog's coming to visit. That's one of the things, you know, um, even if you follow my sister and I on, we have a little TV show called um, Keep It Up with Jones Girls. And we're starting the Canada-wide tour, the PIY tour. Um, one of the things uh, is, it's all about having fun. Everything is about having fun. 
not being stressed out. Like my dog just came in and grandkids are sitting in here. It's that's what it's about. And that's what I love about painting, going down to the garage, painting. It's not stressful. And like I just did my cabinets, my kitchen cabinets, and I just want to show you how, you know, taping and that, it's great. But if you get these angle brushes, and it might be a little harder for me to do with like that, but I did not tape one thing in my kitchen. See how easy it is to just drag that angle brush along? I don't have time to tape anything. We're busy. You're busy too. And if I did get it on there, it's okay because I'm going to come back in a bit. So I probably have used maybe a, an eighth of a four ounce to paint this. The paint actually is sticking really nicely. I haven't really found anything that I can't paint. Uh, as you see today, painted cowboy boots. Um, I painted up a set of gum boots and I put them in a bucket of water for about two months and the paint was just as, just as perfect on it as when I started. Now this is really going to look pretty with this fabric. And again, it's, this is not for everybody, but Miss Georgia, she has her own style. And this is her, this is perfect for her. And you know, that's one thing that I have to say about painting things and decorating your home is that, you know, you can hire an, an interior designer to come in and do your home. If you want it, that's perfectly fine. But I think it's about what you are and your home should be a, a perfect story of who you are. Um, so decorate it however you want. And if somebody comes in and says, you know, well, I really didn't like that. Well, you know what? There's probably things in their house that you didn't like. Oh, don't tell them I said that. But it's it's about being you and not being afraid. If this lamp didn't turn out, you know what? I'm just going to go back to the PIY paint cover and I'm going to grab some more paint and I'm going to paint it a different color. And if I didn't like that, I could take it back to white. So look at how fast that is. That's done. Again, just take your brush, angle it down. You can wipe it as you go, because if you have handy, beautiful covers, all's like me. And if you get these little hairs coming out of your brush, it doesn't matter. Usually if you just tip your brush back like this, it'll take them right out. So that is almost dry. How does it look, Sim? Looks excellent. You know what would be really nice, I bet, is if I covered the lamp shade, maybe in that. Oh, that'd be nice. Hey? Mm -hmm. Did I miss any spots? No, I can't see any. Yeah, it's drying up nice. Now this will dry up. I will give it one more coat when it's thoroughly dry. And we will put the lampshade on it. And then um, we can come back because the editing people can come back and attach the, the end one to that one. So for now, I think, Cindy, we're good. We're gonna let this dry. I think so. We're good and uh, happy painting.